Three of the largest banks in America are under investigation by the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau. We have some major news to talk about today about Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and Chase Bank. And there was a massive glitch with Chase Bank over the weekend that a lot of people are not talking about. And was it truly a glitch or was it just all fraud? And yes, you heard me right. Bank of America, Chase Bank, and Wells Fargo are all under investigation by the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau because there have been too many issues going on with Zelle. And guess who owns Zelle? None other than all all of these banks, Bank of America, Truist Bank, Capital One, JP Morgan Chase, PNC Bank, US Bank, and Wells Fargo all together own Zelle. Zelle is one of the largest peer-to-peer -peer transfer money systems in the United States or possibly in the world. And in case you've been living under a rock and you have no idea what Zelle does, Zelle allows me, as an example, I can send you some money directly to your bank account. It goes from bank account to bank account. It doesn't go to person to person. It goes directly into your bank account account. Now specifically, this investigation probe focuses on JP Morgan, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo. And in case you've been living under a rock, Bank of America and Wells Fargo have been under fire for years over all of the different types of fraud that they've committed against their clients. So it's kind of shocking to me that JP Morgan's now been wrapped up into this because of course they are owners of Zelle, but they are specifically targeting these three banks because a lot of scams have been going on. And guess what? Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and JP Morgan have not been doing enough to protect their clients. But JP Morgan's not gonna take this sitting down. They're talking about they might possibly sue the CFPB for this probe and this investigation that's regarding Zelle, which is wild to me. They're like, yeah, we're not we're not involved in anything scammerish here. We're gonna sue you if you continue to actually harass us. That's what it looks like JP Morgan is saying in this report. The government has stepped in because in the last four years, frauds and scams have really skyrocketed on the Zelle platform. And the government feels that these banks aren't doing enough to protect consumers. And this is why the Fair Credit Billing Act was created to protect consumers in credit card transactions. But there's currently nothing in place to protect you if you use Zelle. It's up to the bank if you dispute it. And they could literally say, well, you sent them the money, you authorized it, so there's nothing we can do. Now Zelle is managed and operated by a company called Early Warning Services. This entire investigation came into play because a Democratic senator said it was time for everyone to see exactly how these banks and how Zelle was actually handling any type of dispute resolution when anybody filed a dispute because they said that they were scammed. So Senator Blumenthal called on the CFPB on Monday to investigate dispute resolution practices at early warning services as well as JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, and Bank of America. Now that request followed a report from his committee which found reimbursements from unauthorized transactions on Zelle fell significantly over a five year period. Last part's the most important. Basically telling us that they have not been reimbursing anybody who has made a claim that they were scammed in a Zelle transaction. We need to pay attention to this investigation because it could lead to the other peer-to-peer -peer banking systems actually getting investigated also, which I believe it needs to happen because scams are happening all over every one of these platforms. Now let's move on to this next crazy story that scammers all across the United States and all across TikTok and Facebook were claiming that there was a chase glitch. No, this was not not a glitch. This is what we call bank fraud. It really told me to tap in. Next day it was supposed to clear. Look at my account, yo. Do y'all see how his account says negative deposit error? You're probably, how does somebody have a negative Whoa, deposit of 31,000 and negative 70,000? This is literally deposit and wire fraud. This is going to cause so many people to get federal time. Either you're gonna give the money back or you're gonna get federal time. Or even if you give the money back, you're still gonna get federal time. No, I don't think there's any way around this for anybody. Basically, let me explain to you how this fraud actually happened. I wanna give a special shout out to all my beasters out there that are working hard to fix their credit use using Dispute Beast, the most advanced AI credit repair software ever created. But specifically, I wanna give a shout out to Matthew. Matthew's credit score went up 285 points after one round with Dispute Beast. And Maurice, Maurice's credit score went up 237 points after one round with Dispute Beast also. But let's not forget Shakia. Shakia's credit score went up 215 points after just one round with Dispute Beast also. Now Dispute Beast link is going to be in the video description and pinned at the top of the 
the comments for anyone that needs to fix their credit. All the scammers went all across social media on TikTok specifically and Facebook telling people, tap in, tap in. You know, Chase Bank is, there's a glitch. You can get all this money. I'm like, yo, why would you think that you were gonna be able to get free money from a billion dollar or is it trillion dollar bank for free? And they wouldn't notice. They have your social security number, your date of birth, your address, your driver's license. They have all of your information, but for some reason, you thought that you're gonna be able to get away with $40,000 and they would be like, ah, oh, nah, just, just let him go, bro. He's, he's okay. It was our fault. So the way that this fraud worked is people were literally going to ATMs and making fake deposits with fake checks and fake envelopes, empty envelopes, depositing $40,000 and then it cleared the next day and then they went into physical Chase Bank locations and pulled that money out thinking that nobody was gonna notice. I believe Chase shut this down in about 24 to maybe 48 hours, and then everyone's bank accounts have these issues. Now, what happened was a lot of people did it on their own, and then there were other scammers that were like, hey man, give me your bank account information if you got a Chase account, and I'll help you get 40K, but you gotta give me 10K. They walked away with the 10K, and then now these people are left holding the bag. Guess what? It doesn't matter. You're still gonna go to prison. I'm not gonna lie. When my friend sent me the video, the first video that he sent me of this whole Chase glitch, I said, bro, Bro, why are you sending this to me? He said, dude, this is a huge story. And you go, you went all across social media. I started digging. I was like, yo, there's thousands of videos and people are bragging about it. They're bragging about ripping off and scamming a major bank and making videos about it, which is even crazier. You know, the same bank that has your driver's license, your social security number, your date of birth, your address, where you work at, like you can't hide from them. You're literally going to do federal prison time over this. And on top of that, you're never going to ever be able to get any type of bank account at any other bank ever for the rest of your life. I'm not gonna be surprised if they permanently ban these people for life. So I wanted to bring you this video to make you aware of all the scams and what's going on with Zelle. So be very careful if you're ever gonna use Zelle. Do not trust scammers. If you don't know them, do not send them money through Zelle. And also, don't believe scammers on the internet that are telling you that they can make you an easy buck because it's most likely gonna get you easy jail time for free. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We covered another big one on a massive investigation going against Zelle and all of these major banks and of course the Chase glitch scam and fraud that was going on. Make sure that you watch this next video because it is about something that's going on with some other banks that you may not be aware of. And if you felt that I brought you some value in this video, make sure that you don't forget and subscribe to increase your credit score.